All right, guys. So taking you back to the example that we have studied in the last video, this is where we actually ran our first subquery. Okay, what I'll do is I'll uh, remove the line below so that it doesn't confuse. We just ran the subquery separately, right? So this is the query. I'll just highlight this part. Okay, this is the query, and this is the subquery that we are talking about. This was the subquery. Now this subquery, what this subquery did was to fetch the department of Aman. which was 50 and that department id was equal to 50 so now the outer query caught that i had to fetch all the data of employees where department id is equal to whatever is fetched from here which was 50 so now the entire data got spat over here now if i change this if i take the same data over here if i take the same query and let's say i change the name over here here i change the name in fact i'll before we do that i'll just take you guys to this thing this was the sub query that we used now if i change the name over over here the name was aman now if i change name to abhishek let me change this name so i've just observed something about the data so if i change this name from aman to abhishek ideally what should happen is that it should fetch the data of abhishek or the department id of abhishek fetch it to the outer query and the same data should come out which will give me the entire data of the department where abhishek is working right that should have happened now let me move on to the workbench over here and let me try that i got a error when i tried that okay so i'll just probably introduce you guys to the error and that gives me a very good opportunity to discuss something else regarding this sql sub queries so abhishek is the department now if i run this it gave me a error read the error at the below over here it says sub query returns more than one row that is the sub query over here returns more than one row what do you mean by this let me try and run this query separately over here if even if i run this query separately let's see what happens right it gives me department id 70 and 10 so it says select department id from employees where first name is ek abhishek now i'll just have a look at the entire data guys i'll just run this so can i say i'll just minimize this so that you can have a bigger look at the data there's a abhishek over here there's another abhishek over here can you just see there's abhishek over here and there's another abhishek over here fortunately for us in the previous example there was only one aman hence the sub query that i wrote when aman was over here it fetched exactly one output which was 50 and hence equal to was fine hence equal to was fine not department id cannot be equal to two things over here can i say this if i run this query again can i say the error that is happening is so i think i should have selected this one i'll just select this one now the department id cannot be equal to both 70 and 10 isn't it it can be equal to 70 or it can be equal to 10 this is called as multiple row sub query right i if i take you back to the example over here where i used aman over here this particular query this particular sub query i think it's fine this particular sub query i'll just underline this this was the sub query that we used fetched exactly one department and hence it was nothing but called as single row sub query the sub query's output was one hence equal to was fine because equal to is applicable if department id is equated to one entity that is 50 now in case of abhishek what is happening is Is, it is there are multiple of shakes and hence this sql sub query once run separately is fetching me two or more than two departments depends upon whatever input i take in instead of aman over here and this is called as multi row sub query where the output of the sub query over here is not one row it is multiple row can you just recall that in our workbench i'll take you guys again back to workbench no worries we can do it again that once we ran this particular query there were multiple rows can you just see that there were two rows over here and hence this query sub query gave two rows we cannot use equal over here because equal to cannot can be equated to some quantity a quantity can be equated to quantity right a quantity cannot be equated to two a, a row of two quantities isn't it so that is why or other a table of two rows over here so what do i need to do over here what do i need to change in this particular query in case of abhishek for the moment i'll just delete this because i just ran to explain this to you now coming back to the point what should i do what should i change in my sub query over here that all the departments where abhishek named guy is working is fetched and the entire data of all the employees where anybody called abhishek is working that is i need to now fetch the department the entire data of the department 70 and 10 both what do i need to do i need to change this simply to the in operator now i am saying that i'm so sorry there has to be a space now i'm saying that select all the data from the employees table where department id 
is in this particular set. I'm not saying now that department ID is equal to something. I'm now saying that department ID has to be in this set, in this row of department ID. Now, if I run this, I'll get the entire data of all the employees who are either in the department ID 70 or in the department ID 10. Can you guys see this? Can you just look at this particular department ID? I can see that it has fetched me the entire data of all the employees who are either in the department ID 10, 70. This is an example of something we call as multi multiple row, multi row subquery. And whenever we have multiple row subquery, that is the subquery is fetching me more than one output. I cannot use equal to, I have to use what? In. Are we clear with this? So that is the reason that was the error. And now it gives me everything, everywhere Abhishek named guy is there, whatever department any Abhishek is working in, it's giving me the department ID of that particular Abhishek. Now, if I say, let's say I want to go for only the department of Abhishek Fadnavis, then I need to make a simple change over here in my subquery. I'll say that where the department ID from employees where first name is equal to Abhishek and underscore name, sorry, last name equal to this one, Fadnavis. So let me go for Fadnavis over here, right? Last name is equal to enter over here so that you guys can see for now so if i do this and now if i equate it it's okay because i hope there's only one abhishek for now now if i make it equal and still run the query and now it's not giving me any because probably i make the spell error over here i think i made a spell error let me check this just right if I run this query, still giving me null. Just a minute, guys. Okay, so there was a spell error over here. I'll just uh, remove that. It was not Fadnavis, it was Fadnavis. Right, so if I just run this, now it's going to give me the data of only the department ID or the entire data of the all the employees belonging to the department where Abhishek Fadnavis is working. If I change it to the next Abhishek, the other Abhishek, uh, make it Abhishek comparatively easier surname. So I hope it doesn't give me any trouble. Yes, it doesn't. So it gives me the entire detail of all the employees who are working in department ID 70, which is the department ID of Abhishek Sharma, a classical example, ladies and gentlemen, of SQL multi-row subquery. Remember, multi-row subquery. Now, if I had to come back again and say that, okay, now let's see, can we apply this in the last name? Now I want to experiment, okay, where the last name, where the last name is equal to Sharma. I'll just see this. I want the last name to be equal to Sharma. Let me try and run this. How many Sharmas are there? Now again, the same problem. SQL subquery returns more than one row. Why guys? Because the last name of Sharma could have been taken by multiple people from multiple departments. Hence, equal to will not fetch in things over here. What I need to do is change this equal to to in. And now I'm saying that, okay, give me the entire department, entire data of all the employees whose last name is Sharma. So Aman Sharma, Gopi Sharma, whatever Sharmas are there, whatever the department IDs are there, I can see that a lot of Sharmas are there. So the entire employee data of anybody whose last name is Sharma fetched over here. This is an example of multiple subqueries, multi-row subqueries over here, okay?